So guys, just like my Flash Q&A, which you may have seen already, may have not, because I'm away on holiday right now, I have no idea the order of the videos, but uh, since it's Arrow's last season, I asked you guys to submit a few questions for uh, what I want to see, how I'd like things to go down and whatnot, so that is exactly what we're doing in today's video, an Arrow Season 8 Q&A. <laughs> How's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new video. As you may have heard a few different times right now, um, I'm away on holiday right now. So this is one of those videos which is very convenient for me to do. Plus you guys get to see uh, my opinion on, well, your questions that you have about Arrow Season 8. Um, compared to the Flash one, whether you've seen that or not, whether it's coming or whether it's already been out, I'll leave it in the cards above if it has, or even if it hasn't, I'll just add it in later. Um, it's just interesting because this is last season. I do have an Arrow video going up as well, uh, which you may have already seen. I really should be more organized with stuff like this um, about you know different things well I'll, I'll leave that as a surprise uh, but I do have an arrow video coming out about season eight which is going to be pretty interesting because a few of my videos that are going up as of when I'm away uh, are video essay like um, and now you know I quite like doing them because uh, they require a bit more effort if you know what I mean um, so I'm just going to start straight away guys with your first question about arrow season eight and this is from Yasmin C uh, do you think anything will happen to John Diggle uh, since we haven't seen him in the flash forwards. Um, that's a very, 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 very good question. I can't remember all the references off the top of my head uh, about, you know, what Connor Hawke has said. I remember they've talked about uh, their upbringing and how, you know, uh, they were discussing how obviously his brother was like the leader of the Deathstroke gang or something like that. I think that was actually John Diggle Jr. and not obviously Connor Hawke. Um, and, and that was more or less because of that upbringing was like when you have parents, because she, he could relate with Mia, who are more concerned with saving the world than kind of raising their own kids. It was that kind of vibe. Uh, so you can kind of see how that went wrong. So like, it's not like Diggle is going to die in the present day. He would, def he would definitely be there to raise, um, you know, Connor Hawk and John Diggle Jr. But they could just be saving... Uh, you know, his character in the flash forwards for season eight. Uh, that, you know, I'm not ruling that out because as I said, I don't remember a concrete off the top of my head answer about him. Oh, when John Diggle died, you know, when my dad died, that didn't happen. So, you know, I, I'm split on 50 50 unless one of you guys correct me down in the comments below if he's alive or if he will show up, you know, in the flash forwards or if he does uh, die at some point raising the kids or maybe you know, so it's kind of caught in between there So Pete Wiz Star Kingdom 17 interesting username uh, do, do you think Oliver will sacrifice himself? Or do you think that they will find a way to save him so that he can retire and live a safe life? So straight off the bat I can definitely say that he they're not gonna find a safe way for him to like retire and live a safe life just because I don't see why he would retire into the paradise dimension like he would just retire on somewhere on planet Earth so he could live and raise Mia. Um, so I don't think that's going to be the case at all. I think he will sacrifice himself. The monitor did say he can't prevent his passing. The monitor did say I see you die. Um, however, it's more of a question of does the monitor do something with his godlike powers that even though Oliver evidently dies through whatever way he dies specifically, does he somehow allow his being to continue on in that paradise dimension that we see uh, Felicity walk into at the end of Arrow Season 7? Because she's a living being and she's walking into there. And I discussed something like this in my Arrow video that is probably coming after this. Um, so keep an eye out for that video. If it's already up, you may have already seen it. And it will probably be in the cards above either way. I'll remember to put it in there either way. So I do think he will sacrifice himself, yes, um, to put it on the short answer. But of course, I do a long answer. Uh, Deathstroke asks, do you think that the show will focus on Oliver's journey with the Monitor or some other Team Arrow stuff in Season 8? So that's a very interesting question. I do touch on this in that video as well in a different kind of way. So I think it is very likely that the show will focus... You know, because, you know, I've seen some people say and refer to last season as Arrow's last true season. And I do agree with that. Just based on that, I feel automatically as a given that this season will be very different. And I think that it will focus more on Oliver's journey with the Monitor. Um, but definitely there will be Team Arrow stuff as well. 100%. Because they need to um, include the fact that there's, a, you know, the, the Star City future of Outlawed Vigilantes. We need to get to that. It would just be weird if, like, it was mainly Oliver scenes. I mean, I, I basically think it's going to be Oliver and Monitor scenes. 
Team Arrow and Star City scenes, and then flash forward scenes. So three kind of things going on in every episode, maybe some more featured in one, uh, some episodes more than others, but that is the kind of gist. Rocco Lee asks, uh, how will they manage uh, Felicity's departure? Um, this is interesting because obviously she's left the show. They haven't ruled out that she's uh, not coming back entirely. If they can fit it in, they'll fit it in just in terms of scheduling and stuff. They may have already filmed some stuff in terms of how, you know, you're asking how will they handle her departure. So they could just have, you know, obviously when we're getting Team Arrow scenes in present day, they could have Felicity already a pre-recorded line where, or, or maybe if they don't have a pre-recorded line or a scene of her in her house, because you know she's got that Overwatch room, they could just have Diggle saying, oh, I'll hit Felicity up for this when they're in the Arrow Cave and doing something regarding maybe the Ninth Circle if they're tackling the Ninth Circle next season, for example. So that's how I think they will handle her. Uh, but additionally, if we get the, the opportunity to have her in the season, I think they will have to have her reacting to Oliver dying. I mean, <laughs> if Oliver just sacrifices himself and then... Uh, sorry, I'm just laughing because it would just be, it would just be funny if they didn't show her reacting to that. I mean, that would just be weird, wouldn't it? So they have to film that, surely, somewhere or another. So that's the way I think they'll roughly handle her next season. So Owen asks, uh, will Roy, sorry, I'm losing my voice a bit, uh, be a main character in season eight? Um, as far as I'm aware, as of recording this video right now, could change because, as I said, I'm past Boba right now. I'm uploading this at some point in my three weeks away. Unless it already is that confirmed that he's returning for season eight, I'm not sure. Um, I definitely think he will return in some capacity just because... Um, Obviously, he exiles himself to Lian Yu, um, and he, a, a, as of the end of Season 7, he says that he needs to kind of figure some stuff out, uh, whatever that means. I mean, I do get it, because um, he's got the bloodlust, and like, he he was, uh, he, yeah, he went a bit far, obviously. Um, so yeah, I just kind of like to think with just 10 episodes, they can bring actors like, uh, you know, Colton Haynes back. I don't see why he would say no to that. Uh, it, it just is quite a few moving things, moving parts in the air with only 10 episodes next season. So that's what makes things like this interesting. Cookie Dough asks, do you think that Dino Drake, Dino Drake will get her canary cry back for Crisis? Um, very good question. Um, I do not necessarily think that she will. Just because we haven't seen her use it once in the future. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I remember there's fight scenes, but I'm pretty sure she just used her staff. Why wouldn't she have used a canary cry? You could argue she didn't want to hurt Mia when she was, you know, fighting her in that one scene, I remember. So I, I would have to think that that's a permanent injury. Uh, it would be cool if that was the case, but I'm leaning more on the side that she never gets it back. Um, and obviously we have Laurel in the future, which is the other canary who does have a, a sonic cry. Uh, so yeah, I don't think Dinah obviously needs her cry to be a badass. But yeah, I get the concern because she was, she was you know, pretty badass with the cry as well. Uh, but yeah, no, I don't think that's going to happen. So Dimitri Conturis asks, it's kind of similar to another question, but it's still relevant. Because like, how much do you think we're going to see Oliver? Will we see... Uh, will we follow only Team Arrow or Parallel Storyline uh, will be Oliver where the monitor took him? So in terms of like what I said earlier, I think we're going to have Oliver monitor scenes. Flash forward scenes, evidently, because we know like people like Connor Hawk are a series regular uh, in the final season. Uh, and then we will have Team Arrow and Star City scenes. Um, so in terms of Oliver, I think obviously the focal point of this show is, you know, the you know it's called Arrow. So I think it should mainly, I think... I think half of it should be Oliver monitor scenes and then the other two quarters should be, um, you know, fl flash forwards and then Team Arrow Star City scenes. I think that is a good, you know, good enough and reasonable thing to have in its last season. Adam Grunther asks, uh, what is the deal with the Beatrice character? Do you think that she will be the big bad of season eight? So, uh, yeah. Ninth Circle. So I don't think there's going to be a big bad just because we've got 10 episodes. I don't think we can. There's so much going on, as I've already discussed with that context. There's just so much going on. You can't have... I don't know, but at the same time, with uh, Team Arrow scenes, you could almost regard it that way because they're going to have to have something going on, right? I mean, they're obviously going to have to set up, the, as I've already said, the future stuff, the, the no vigilantes, but maybe something to do with the Ninth Circle will, will uh, contribute to that. So you could argue they are a bit ba big bad for Team Arrow scenes, but I don't think they will be a big bad. So what's the deal with her? We don't really know much about her, but I'm sure we will learn more about her um, as of when uh, we get, you know, the information about what the heck Team Arrow are doing. We do know that the Ninth Circle is still there. We know they're pretty strong still. Um, so yeah, I think that she will... I, I personally think that she... I am leaning more towards that she will be the, uh, the main 
I guess, focus and enemy of, I don't want to say big bad, but yeah, big bad, I guess, of uh, Team Arrow next next season. So one here asks, will Laurel be in this season? Um, yet again, same answer as Roy. I would have to think so. Last season, these actors, I don't think are leaving to do anything like uh, Emily Bett regards did, uh, Felicity. Uh, so I don't see why they wouldn't return. I, I, I think she will be in next season. So Project Trade us. do you think that Team Arrow would track down Oliver and bring him home? So I don't think so. Um, you know, I assume if they, I mean, they might not be aware of it, but if they are aware of it, it would be through Felicity telling them um, and she would tell them not to freak out because what he's doing is serving a very important purpose, which is, uh, you know, preventing or like preparing, sorry, uh, for the impending crisis, whether that's through recruiting other heroes, la di da 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 So no, I don't think... You know, Diggle and Team Arrow is going to be like, right, we need to get the Oliver back from Monarch. So they're going to be doing their own thing. They've got Star City to manage. Uh, and as I said, Felicity probably would have told them exactly what happened in that scene between the Monarch, Felicity and uh, Oliver in the little safe house that they have. So the midget asks, do you think somebody is going to pick up the mantle of the Green Arrow in the final episode? Um, Yes, basically, I think, well... I think, you know, the last couple of episodes or episode will be, you know, very kind of goodbye oliver -y kind of thing. But considering we're still going to get flash forwards throughout the season and I assume, you know, uh, whatever. I, I Basically, what I'm trying to say is I think the last flash forward scene will be of the new Team Arrow in the future. But if you're referring to common day, common day, what is wrong with me? Present day. <laughs> um, we know that things aren't good in present day uh, for the next 20 years. Um, at some point anyway, because vigilantes are outlawed. So I don't know if somebody's going to take up the mantle of the Green Arrow in the present day as much as we're going to still have people fighting a good fight like Lila, Diggle, and we know the Canaries uh, get started by Dinah and Zoe gets trained. But I don't see there being a proper Green Arrow for... That is a very good question, to be honest. Is there a... I don't think there is somebody who takes that mantle up for the in-between 20 years. I think the first per person who's going to properly do that is Mia. Um, and we'll see that for sure, I think, in the flash forward scenes. Um, but everyone else is kind of continuing on Oliver's legacy without putting on a hood like Diggle did when he uh, went away, if you will, um, through doing their own thing. Like, as I said, Dino with the Canaries, etc., etc. But on that, guys, I'm going to leave it there, I guess. Uh, you know, there are more questions like, will Malcolm Merlin appear one time, uh, one more time? Will Deathstroke come back? I think, you know, just quickly off the cuff, I think there is a good chance, uh, you know, uh, recurring characters last season, things will come back things people will come back you know in the very uh oliver dreamscapey dominator invasion thing he had if you remember when he was saying goodbye to laurel lots of characters like mora queen were present there. i think stuff like that will happen but uh, for any other questions guys let me know if you want to see a part two stuff like this um i wanted to kind of keep this video at a reasonable time i think it's kind of at a reasonable time so if you did enjoy the video i leave a like on it but more importantly to be honest i really want to know your thoughts on the answers i decided on the questions I decided to answer um you know just in case you have any additional thoughts any different opinions I do read every comment so definitely let me know them down in the comments below other than that talk with me directly even as I'm away in my discord server it's another place you can talk to me um link as always is in the description down below other places you can follow me like twitter uh, facebook instagram and places to support me uh and help support the channel like patreon links as always are down there but thank you so much for watching guys hope you have a lovely rest of your day i'll see you vigilantes in the next video goodbye